getting ready to check out our new trailer. <laughs> Which one do we want? This That's one. what we need. That one right there. Well, that's too much. There's the enclose. Fuck them transmission killers. That's a nice dump. Is that how the walls are? Yeah, that's huge. This is what we're looking at right here. Looking for a single axle. So it's official. There it is. Got my big Tex trailer, Kerbo. You excited? Yup, so where is it? <laughs> got back up to her, she's over there. We got all that shit back here where we about to back up to the trailer. So we're back out on a tree job and with the no freshness. Gas, no gas for the long on the chainsaw. Oh man. I can get gas. Yeah, you got so we put the first load on my 14 footer. Got the SA upgraded model. Lift gate assist, LED lights. I was worried about overloading it, and now everything is getting wet, so not only is it extra heavy, it's extra wet and heavy. We're down to the last two stumps of this tree job. Uh, Big Tex did pretty good. She's rated for about 1,900. I said we had every bit of 1,900 pounds in there the last load. This one's looking like about 1,000, 1,500, maybe more. The brand new Husqvarna 150 BT. I think it's BT if I remember correct. But yeah, we had her loaded down. She didn't ever bottom out. The suspension is actually pretty good on this thing. The tailgate is actually on this SA is actually so heavy that if it's completely empty, it kind of bobs and kind of jumps around, makes a lot of noise when you're going down the road. All right, so this is day number four with Big Tex. She's getting well used, a little beat up. We got some sidewalls in here. I'm gonna cut these down a little bit lower, but uh, it's doing pretty good. I had about a yard and a half of soil in it, and uh, it bottomed out one time, put one little dent on the frame rail, but uh, I think I might have to put a little bit of helper spring on her. Now, so far, the only negatives that I've noticed is it only has two tie rod, tie tie spots on this side and this side is one on each side so it only has four it could have a few more but if you notice they point inwards it'd be nice if it had something out here to also hook on to another thing that I noticed is this LED light bar it's very nice but it kind of reduces the ground clearance quite a bit uh, it'd be almost a lot nicer if they could integrate that into the back end somehow but that might bring up the tailgate or make the tailgate itself more complicated. The tailgate with the square is much much stronger but this tailgate is so heavy. I can take this trailer off with one hand but that's nice and everything but at the same time it is because it's so long. At the same time though I have to make sure I have some nose weight or this trailer drives like pure shit. Well, we got the SA coming with a tire carrier, nicer gate, lift gate assist and everything, LED lights, and it comes with the setback jack, which keeps it away from your tailgate is what they said it's for. Overall, it's pretty nice. It's really solid, and I've gotten a bunch of compliments. So far, it's been pretty good. But one last thing I finally noticed this is the only defect I've seen. It's really hard to see on camera. Let's see if we can get it, the angle right. This is dented in right here, right where this is welded on. So this thing must have been welded on and then something hit it 
and dinged it in and bent this whole this whole square tubing right in, dented it right in. And uh, when they installed it, they smashed it with a hammer to put it back on here. It's hardly any grass out here. It's mostly weeds, it seems like. So these guys want me to do a little bit of everything here. I'm gonna go ahead and do some weed and feed in the grass when I'm all done with all the cleanup. Get rid of all the weeds, all the trees, trim the bushes. And I'm gonna be putting down some Escalade, probably two bags of Escalade. That's the weed and feed I use. And this is the area that filled my trailer up yesterday. You see these are the stumps of two huge wax myrtles that we took out. They were just covered in vines, all taken over. You just There was no recovering them. They were mostly dead, so we just cut them on out. I filled my trailer up. You can even see this green box in here. I got this area shaped up for the most part. I'm going to take the weed eater and clean up the bottom area, and then we'll rake it all clean. But overall, this Big Tex trailer has been doing great for me. I have and this light bar is great, but the only thing that is a bit of an issue is it sits a little bit low. And if you go over some crazy uh, bumps or steep driveways, it kind of drags. I love this trailer. It's been doing great so far. I'm thinking about cutting these side walls down a little bit. But the other day I had an extra leaf job that came up and I really needed them walls tall. So now I'm scared to cut them down. But those can be coming out whenever I want them to. I can take them out so I'm not hauling around so much weight, so much of a, a wind drag. And one thing I really like about this trailer is these rails are much, much taller than the last trailer I was using. These are a lot thicker angle iron pieces. Well, I think single axles are taking over the landscaping community because uh, that's all you really see nowadays except for some of the big boys. They're hauling around dual axles. And I'm going to get me a dual axle soon so I can haul some heavy weight like logs and, and mulch and all that a little bit heavier. Right now I can only get about four yards in here and that's pushing it. I'm going to get started back up on this cleanup. Please subscribe, hit me up. I'm trying to build my channel, I'm trying to build my company. Give me some help. Look out for me. And remember, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Deuces.